Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Friday update video. Now in this video we're covering updates as of today which is version 1.3.13. Now with this update uh, we see a few new features that are coming to the game along with that is a bunch of fixes. Now the devs are mainly focusing on bug fixes at the moment as we saw from last week's announcement and also this week's update. Now this week's update they have gone and fixed a few issues and the main thing they're focusing on is going to be the tiles and the actual messages themselves. So you'll notice throughout the world uh, we've kind of had a few areas where you'll be driving where the ground doesn't exactly match up uh, or for example over at one of the bases where you're driving along and the ground is not completely flat although it looks flat. Uh, so this is a couple of the issues with the tiles the devs are working on and have fixed in this update. But besides that They've actually gone and fixed a few more things and given us a few more cool features. So in this week's update, uh, in terms of new features, what do we have? Well, we've got some new window pieces. That's correct. I don't know where this came from and how all of a sudden we got new window pieces, but I'm not going to complain. So once you're in the editor, you'll notice that we have got some brand new window pieces. And that is going to be the 2x2x2 inverse permits and also the 2x2 window permits. So this is something that was missing and I'm so happy to see that they have gone and added this in. And now you can actually build two high cockpits or two high uh, cars or boats, whatever you need to. So that's a really good addition. Obviously, we used to only have the one and the three. So having these two ones... Um, is definitely needed and I'm glad they added that in. I'm sure everyone will say that we need more windows, but I mean, we're not going to complain when they do add them in. So they added these in, so I'm not going to complain with them. Now, along with that, we've also got another new feature and that's just more of a quality improvement feature and that's going to be with the add-on editor. So once you're inside the add-on editor, you can actually now go and search for your add-ons. They added this ability with when you're starting a game, I think a few weeks ago, that you were able to go and search, but now you can actually do the same thing when you're inside the game and you're looking for something. So for example, if I'm looking for all my add-ons, I can just type NJ and there we go, they're all here. Instead of beforehand, I physically had to go and scroll down this whole list to go and find something you're looking for. The same thing goes with your saved add-ons. It, currently it displays by uh, the most recent one you've been to but if i was looking for anything particular i can now go and type and find it so for me that is a very big quality improvement for me especially i like working with add-ons and i work with them quite a bit so i think that's a pretty cool thing to see along with that they've also gone and added some more improvements to the cargo scripts so they've added some improved tooltips uh probabilities and also the scaling for the rewards slash the times Besides that, uh, there pretty much isn't really anything else in this week's update. There has been a ton of fixes. I will put it up on the screen and you guys can see there's been a ton of fixes. Uh, apparently there are two known issues uh, in the game at the moment that devs have actually mentioned here, which is interesting. It's the first time I've actually ever seen them mention known issues. Uh, apparently where one or two locations require larger fixes. Uh, I think so they say, hey, start a new save, you'll fix it. And the same thing is if you get bad performance or you get lag when you're around beginner outpost just start a new save and that should get rid of it interesting that they're mentioning that uh, but i'm glad to see they are acknowledging it so they obviously are working on it and fixing it besides that um nothing really else to talk about this week the devs said they are continuing to improve game and working on more features obviously during the last q a they spoke about some new weapon pieces we're going to get like muzzles what's going to get chaffs um so I'm, I'm excited to see those and hopefully we should be seeing those quite soon Along with that is they said they are doing more internal testing in comparison to doing just last minute changes and releasing it. So now uh, it does take a little bit longer to see updates coming out or at least new features because they want to do proper testing inside, um, I'm guessing inside their studio. But that's fine. I mean, I don't mind waiting a little bit longer to make sure that things work perfectly when we get it on day one. So I'm happy to see that. And besides that, yeah, I'm excited to see some new content here in Stormworks, uh, especially with updates to the DLC. And then something that I'm really waiting for is update to career mode. I want new missions. I want to see improvements there. I think career mode currently is lacking. For me, it's the main reason why I haven't uh, started a new survival series or even actually continued with my existing survival series. We did put that on a hold at the moment for the weapons DLC. But um, for me, I have no desire because there's, I feel that the current missions in career mode are lacking quite a bit. So I really hope the devs do focus on career a little bit more and give us some more missions. I, I miss the pre-version 1 missions 
where we had uh, kind of like a story mode to go through and we had these really cool missions that were diverse and you would never do the same thing over again. Whereas now, even though uh, the current Lua missions, I mean, you never do the same thing twice, you are still putting out a fire several times or you putting out a fire at a base several times in a row. Whereas in the old pre-version one or stomachs with career missions, you would have to go and retrieve an anchor. You would have to go and collect samples. You would need to go and deliver this at the island. So for me, I want to see a little bit more diversity with missions. I also want to see scripted missions back in, but that's my opinion. So I really hope they work on the career uh, as soon as possible for me. Uh, but guys, that's pretty much about it. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, smash the like button, the subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you uh, click the little bell icon to be notified as soon as my content gets released. We are got some really cool content coming for you guys. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, uh, some interesting new content that you guys haven't seen on the channel before and also a bunch of multiplayer stuff. So definitely keep an eye on the channel for that. And until the next one, see you then.